a historical night last night at Bad Blood. We saw we have a new WWE champion. And no, his name is not Johnny Gargano. His name is L.A. Knight. When the show went off the air, L.A. Knight came to the ring with his Money in the Bank contract and cashed in. It was a shocking sight to behold. Johnny Gargano, after losing the match, completely flipped and he beat up Kenny Omega after losing the match due to outside interference. We also saw John Moxley return to get some retribution on Adam Cole. But now it's going to be a ma it's a it's a massive celebration for LA Knight. Absolutely, absolutely. It's going to be a hell of a night. We've got a huge main event coming your way. Fatal 4-Way number one contenders match for the Raw Women's Championship. We're about to crown a new number one contender. Will it be AJ Lee, Tony Storm, Britt Baker, or Bailey? One of these four women's wrestlers will get the next opportunity against Mandy Leon and so much more and there he is hello Sean and there he is the new WWE champion LA Knight the man who successfully cashed in his money in the bank out here to celebrate his big victory LA Knight running his mouth. Uh oh. Well, here comes the former champion. Oh, we know Kenny Omega is not happy. We, we know Kenny Omega has, uh, has been absolutely livid since Bad Blood. And there he is, the former champion. Absolutely furious that he is no longer the WWE champion. He should still be the WWE Champion. There's one thing 2K22 needs to add, which I know they won't, but they need to add the championship title, like, in the promos, and that way it's very clear that the person that's talking is the champion, so that way people don't get confused. I think that's the thing that they need to add, like, the championship added to the promos. So happy for Cora, she's only 20, competing in her first takeover at War Games. Yep. And that and that give, and that and that gives me high hope that Dodo won't release her. Oh my goodness! Wow! What a shot to the face! Kenny Omega had enough of LA Knight's big mouth, and here we go. Makes me more confident that the, makes me feel a bit more confident that that WWE aren't going to release her. But then again, she could go to the main roster, Vince ain't impressed, and then she goes. 
She can still get released any time in the next five years, I suppose. Kenny Omega's heard enough of the new WWE Champion. LA Knight. Many, many... Kenny Omega believes LA Knight stole the WWE Championship from him. Oh! Oh man, what a knee right to the head. Well, Kenny Omega believes that LA Knight stole. The WWE Championship. Oh, look out. Oh my goodness. Kenny Omega believes LA Knight stole, stole the title from him. Oh man, German suplexes on the outside. Al Kenny said that LA Knight didn't beat him. Johnny Gargano beat him. He had to he had to use the briefcase to beat him. Well, that's a part of the rule. That's a part of the rules of the Money in the Bank. Kenny should know that. Well, Eva Marie was told to have a match by orders of CM Punk, but the question is, we don't know who she's facing. How could CM Punk just have Eva Marie go to the ring not knowing who she's going to be in the ring with? Well, obviously, it's a massive surprise. I think they wanted her instead of her boyfriend. Well, that's... Well, still keep him around. I'd well, still keep the guy around. Like, he doesn't... Like, he could have been a manager. You could have used him. You didn't have to be all like, Oh, I want her instead of him, so we'll get rid of him, but we'll keep her. Still keep him. You can still do stuff with him. That's like saying... that, that, that That's like saying... They wanted Scarlet instead of Karrion Cross, and they get rid of Scarlet. But no, clearly they didn't want either one of them. Well, that's like saying they would prefer Naomi over Jimmy Uso. And here she comes, the boss chick. Here comes Eva Marie, who, who has no idea who she's in the ring with. Yeah, she has no idea who her opponent is going to be. Well, we're about to find out who uh, Eva Marie is about to go one-on-one -on -one with. CM Punk wanted her in singles action, but he didn't tell her who her opponent is going to be. Eva Marie came up, came up short at Bad Blood. Almost became the almost became Raw Women's Champion. Yeah, she almost became the Raw Women's Champion, but almost doesn't get you anywhere. Well, we're about to find out who is Eva Marie up against. Oh, wait a minute! Hey, look, she's back. Xia Brookside. We haven't seen Brookside. We 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 haven't seen Brookside in eight months. Eight. Brookside is back from her torn ACL. Oh hell yeah! And Brookside is a part of the Monday Night Raw roster. I have noticed wrestlers that the YouTube wrestling community are divided on. Who are CM Punk and John Cena and Finn Balor? Some, yeah, some like, some like Finn, some don't. I'm in the minority that I like Finn. Oh, look at this! It's so good to have Xia Brookside back. Xia Brookside. It was out for about eight, 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 eight to nine months with a torn ACL, and it's 
Oh, nice. And it's great to have her back. It's great to have Xia Brookside back. And, and she's a part of the Raw roster. It's time to fly with Brookside. And look out here. And now Eva Marie. Oh, snap suplex. Looking to spoil the return of, of Brookside. She'd probably, she'd probably would rather still be at home right now because Eva Marie is now in full, full control. And also, how is this fair for Eva Marie? She had no time to prepare for her opponent. CM Punk just told her, "Go to the ring. You've got a match." Well, 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 CM Punk's got a lot on his mind right now. We saw what happened at Bad Blood. He wants to get to the bottom of the Adam Pearce, Sonya Deville situation. We saw what Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville did at Bad Blood. Oh man, and, 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 and Brookside got hung up. We saw what they did at Bad Blood. That's why Punk had no time to tell Eva Marie who her opponent is. He wants to get to the, oh, the bottom of this situation with Adam Pearce, because we saw Adam Pearce basically help the Alpha Academy become the Raw, Raw Tag Team Champions and then we saw and then we saw Sonny Deville assisting AJ Lee in a beatdown on the Raw Women's Champion so, so Eva Marie now Eva Marie now in control of in, in control of Brookside and a kick out who do I think is stronger, Kale or Broly? Probably Broly. Probably Broly, but Kale Kale has been able to control her legendary Super Saiyan status, unlike Broly. So maybe Kale. So maybe Kale, due to being able to control it. Because Broly still hasn't been able to control his uh, legendary Berserker form. Now Eva Marie lifting up. Oh man, lifting up Brookside, slamming her down. And now Eva Marie going for the legs. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Atta attacking that injured leg. Attacking that injured body part. That was the that was the part that was the that was the rigid. It's, oh, the, the the repaired knee. Oh, man. And Brookside gets dropped on her head. And Eva Marie is about to end this match, everybody. Oh, man. And now Eva Marie. Evolution. You see the line in the sand. It's Evolution. And Eva Marie takes the win here on Raw against a returning Zaya Brookside. What a heroic effort did Eva Marie have. She had no idea who her opponent was. She still came out here and still walked away with the win. Eva Marie's journey to the Raw Women's Championship continues. Hello, Armin. Oh man, we know John Moxley is here. We we just saw the return, the recap of the returning John Moxley. We know he's here tonight, and we know he's got one man on his mind, and that is Adam Cole. Yeah, Adam Cole will be in action later on tonight. He'll take on Finn Balor, and my goodness, I don't. I, and my goodness, it's going to be crazy. I can't believe that lunatic is back, and now he's out for blood. Now he's out for now he's out for Adam Cole's blood. What did Adam Cole ever do to him? A lot. Well, here come the former tag team champions. 
who in our honest in our opinion was screwed out of the out of the titles last night at Bad Blood. Sonia Deville. She's going to insert herself into the match. Well, you may believe that Ricochet and Alistair Black were screwed out of the title. They were screwed out of the titles. We clearly... You, you saw it with your, with your own two eyes. You saw it with, the, with your own two eyes. Adam Pearce, who is no longer an, a WWE official, came to the ring and held down Alistair's legs to prevent him from kicking out of Otis's ongoing attack. You know as damn well that they were screwed out of the titles. We know CM Punk will be having a word with Adam Pearce later on tonight. So it's going to be very interesting to see what goes down. It will be Sonya. Just because she was on the phone doesn't mean it's anybody. It ain't Ronda Rousey. It ain't Ronda Rousey before you say it's her. It ain't going to be her. Sonya, Ronda, Ronda Rousey's never coming back. She could have been on the phone to herself. She could have been pretending to talk to herself. And here comes Alistair Black. And here comes Alistair Black, the man who, who, who put up a hell of an effort last night at Bad Blood. Had to fight an extreme amount of bad odds. But when it came down to him and Otis, Adam Pearce screwing Alistair, Al Alistair Black. You know, you can keep blaming Adam Pearce all you want for it. But the reality is, is that we have new Raw Tag Team Champions. A tag team that we can actually say is a tag team. We can't really say the same thing for Alistair and Ricochet. Well, I think Alistair... Speaking of an actual tag team, here comes the phenomenal one. Boom, 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 boom. Look at my eyes, no fear. It's in my time and the place right here. And here comes his partner. Omos Oh man, here comes the giant Colossus Omos The only person that it makes sense being is Exile But Aaliyah should have never been taken out in the first place. And here we go. Ricochet and Alistair Black. This is a number one contenders match. The winning team here will get the next opportunity at the Raw at the Raw Tag Team Championships. And here we go into the and here we go into the cover. Now roll up here. Oh man! Ricochet almost oh, Ricochet almost got it right there. And now and now AJ Styles. Oh dropping Ricochet. AJ Styles and Ricochet have a lot of history together. Uh oh. And now here comes the big boy. The giant Colossus Omos. My god, just look at the size of this dude. Just look at the just look at the size of this man. Oh man! This man is huge. 
Omos, Omos, Omos stumbles. Oh man, Ricochet trying to get the big man down. He did. He was able to get the big man down. Oh my goodness. Oh man, shooting star press attempt fail. And now the big, and now the big giant colossus. Oh. Oh, look at this! Start! Holy cow! Ricochet was able to get Omos down into into a pin attempt, but Omos immediately ball oh, powers out, and just like that, Omos takes control. You just do not want to be in the ring with the giant colossus. My God, my my God, and now, and now the advantage is solely in the corner of Styles and Amos right now. Styles and Amos are in total control. Ricochet is in a load of trouble. Knee right to the head. Yeah, Ricochet's in trouble. When it comes to Styles and Amos, they are a devastating team. And we know how devastating Styles and Amos can be together as a team. They are former Raw Tag Team Champions. Champions for 125 days. And there's the tag. And now here comes Alistair Black. Oh, nice double team. Nice double team maneuver. Oh, Alistair Black. With a big knee strike. Bigger dick with a big knee strike taking down. Oh. Omos has got Omos has got to be taken out of the picture. Look out! Oh man! And Rick Ricochet went for a high risk move, but it didn't pay off. Oh, he was he was aiming for Omos. But Omos just too big, too strong. And now Calf Crusher locked in on Alistair. And now Omos looking to use it, looking to Keep, keep everything in his corner. And now, look out here. Oh, man. Massive slam into the cover on Black. Looking to take the win. And Alistair Black managing the kick out. Oh, man. What a knee strike. And there's the tag. And here comes Omos. And now tags in Ricochet. And now Ricochet. My God, he got the big man down. Oh my God. I'm, I'm all right. Moonsault, moonsault attempt and fail. And, and, and Ricochet gets the shoulders up. They've got to find, they've got to find a way to, s oh. Oh my God, you're kidding me. You are kidding me! Oh my god! How the hell is Omos not even being affected? And now, and now, and now, and now Alistair! Oh no! Oh, he hit the ref! Oh my god! Omos! He was trying to hit the ref! He was trying to hit Omos! He was trying to hit Omos! But, but he nailed the referee! Oh my goodness! Omos! Moved out of the way. Omos avoided, avoided the blow. Oh no. Oh my God. What an elbow drop. And Styles and Omos take the win. My God, what an elbow drop by Omos. Crushing Ricochet. So there you have it, Styles and Omos will be getting a future Raw Tag Team Championship opportunity. Man, I do not envy the Alpha Academy. The Alpha Academy may be celebrating their title victory right now, but they've got themselves a real tough opponents ahead of them. Chad and Otis better be ready.
for this for this for, for, for this for this encounter. And, and coming up next here on Monday Night Raw, the angry, crazed Seth Rollins goes one-on-one -on -one with Tommaso Ciampa. And speaking of Tommaso Ciampa, what's his deal with Grayson Waller? What did Grayson Waller ever do to him? I saw, I saw Ciampa's segment, and he was... Calling Grayson Waller names on NXT yesterday. I was like, what's his problem with Grayson Waller? Grayson Waller's an incredible talented superstar. Obviously, he's Australian, so of course I'm going to say that. But still, what's his problem with him? He didn't do anything to him. Grayson Waller's never interacted with Tommaso Ciampa at all. Ciampa just went on a tirade about him. Never talk about Australian talent like that again, Champa. Yeah, he sounded like a heel. We're supposed to be cheering this guy. We're supposed to be cheering this guy and he came off like like and he came off like a heel. And here comes Tommaso Ciampa, a man who came up incredibly short last night at Bad Blood inside the steel cage. Well, Grayson Waller hasn't won any matches since coming to NXT, so he's going to lose again. Well, it, well, 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 if something's happening, Armin, just refresh it. Just leave and come back. Just refresh the page. I don't, I don't see anything wrong. Yeah, Tommaso Ciampa became an inch of an eyelash of becoming United States Champion, but it was not until Kenny Omega interfered. Seriously? Sorry, Armin. You were right. Something was wrong with the stream. Why does it keep doing this? Why does it keep doing this, man? I swear. I'm not a streaming expert, so it's not like I know how to fix the issue. Sorry, Armin, you were right. There was something wrong with it. I just didn't notice it. Anyway, here we go. Champa and Rollins. I was gonna say, like, didn't she tore her ACL or something? Tommaso Ciampa looking to get back on his winning ways here, while Seth Rollins, you know, Seth Rollins has been, you know, losing his mind as of late. Yeah, he's been uh, losing his mind as of late. He's, uh, he was unable to defeat Big E. He's trying to, you know, get his visionary stable back. Becky Lynch has gone to NXT to help out one of the younger stars in NXT, yeah, Becky Lynch should be more concerned about becoming Raw Women's Champion again, being being the top, being on top of the food chain again. But no, she would rather waste her time with some loser in the NXT Women's Division. Loser? 
she's the tough enough she's the tough enough winner that that Becky Lynch is helping she ain't no loser well Seth Rollins seems to think so just because Seth Rollins thinks that doesn't mean doesn't mean she is oh winning tough enough means nothing really yes winning tough enough doesn't get you anywhere in your career there are so many people that have won tough enough and have and have not had very good careers well I definitely disagree with that but anyway Seth Rollins and Champa now Champa now with a knee right to the head and now Champa oh man what a knee right to the head to Seth Rollins what a clubbing knee shot right to the head and now Champa looking to end it right here Project Champa the Project Champa that could do it to put Rollins away oh and Rollins kicks out that was close Ro Ro Rollins kicking out and now, and now Rollins is about to meet his fairy tale ending no wait a second no he's not oh oh went for the jumping knee strike Oh man! The hell is Seth doing? Seth Rollins. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! He pulled out a chair. What is he? What has he got that for? Seth Rollins. He's got a damn chair. Don't use that, Seth. Oh my God! Just use that. My God! He just used that chair. Come on, ref, to disqualify him. Oh my god! Took two chair shots and the referee has disqualified Rollins. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no! The full oh, vision stomp on the chair! Good lord! Seth Rollins has just completely lost his mind! Seth Rollins has gone to that crazed, has gone to that crazy place, and now he's smashing that chair across Champa. Seth Rollins has gone to that crazy place. He's becoming that madman again. My God! And now he's punishing Tommaso Champa with that chair. What the hell has gotten into Rollins? I don't know, but Rollins has completely lost it. Oh, oh my god, no, not a go oh, again, that stomp. A stomp on the chair. Seth Rollins has completely gone insane. Last night at Bad Blood, we saw the return of John Moxley. He he made his he he's made his presence felt after the steel cage match. He is gunning for he is gunning for Adam Cole, and let's not forget John Moxley is also responsible for allowing LA Knight to cash in his Money in the Bank contract and become the new WWE champion. We're going to hear from John Moxley next. Uh oh John Moxley is all business. He is Adam Cole better start better start running. Mm. 
Yeah, because her finish is very similar to the Dirty Deeds, yeah. Oh my god, really? Look at this! Adam Cole is so afraid of John Moxley, he, he, he's getting pol he's gonna get police officers onto him. Are you serious? Uh, well, Adam Cole's got a match tonight! He's got a match with Finn Balor! He, he, he wants to focus on Finn Balor, not worry about this crazed man that is clearly after him! Well, Adam Cole is the United States Champion. Adam Cole is completely in panic mode. He is ordering a bunch of officers to uh, to arrest John Moxley if he, if he comes anywhere near him during his United States title match. Toxic. Oh my God! And here comes some toxic attraction. Oh. Mandy Rose! Oh my god, does she look great. Oh, Mandy Rose has, a, has an opportunity tonight. Has a big opportunity tonight. She takes on Tessa Blanchard. Mandy Rose is out to make a name for herself and for her to do such a thing. She's got to beat Tessa Blanchard to do it. Mandy Rose says that she has said earlier tonight that she has a big surprise for the WWE universe and I'm and I'm very curious on what that is. I think a lot of us are very curious. Well, it was still a stupid reason to send her back. Send her, sending her back because she needs more development. That was still a stupid reason to send her back. And here comes Tessa Blanchard. Still a stupid reason to send her back. Tessa Blanchard has a lot on her mind. She'll, she'll be looking to get back into the hunt for the Raw Women's Championship. Yeah, she'll be looking to get back into the title hunt. Here tonight, she's got to get a big win here. She's got to knock off Mandy Rose to do that. We saw Tessa Blanchard knock off Bailey last week. Tessa Blanchard's beginning her rise, rise back up to the Raw Women's Championship and now she's got a very determined Mandy Rose. Oh. And now drop kick into the corner, Mandy Rose in trouble here. Now, oh, and now Tessa into the corner. And now Mandy Rose sends, sends Tessa out of the corner. What does Mandy have? It's oh man, bulldog by Rose, the former NXT Women's Champion, looking to knock off knock off Blanchard and a kick out. Nope, it is not Armin. There's a big fatal four way to determine that in the main event. And now Mandy Rose continuing to build some momentum here against Tessa Blanchard. Another Bulldog. Oh man, look at Mandy Rose. She's very confident right now. Mandy Rose in full control 
over the former Raw Women's Champion. Oh man, DDT! And now, and now Tessa Blanchard. Oh, oh man, nice move. Nice move, nice move by Tessa. Oh, look at this Amber! An Amber submission move by Blanchard. A submission maneuver by Tessa Blanchard. Mandy Rose finds herself in a in, in a dangerous situation here. Tessa Blanchard, she's not very she's not very common with her submission with her submissions. Oh, drop and now and now a drop kick by Rose. Oh, oh my goodness and, 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 and Rose with an elbow strike to the outside look out oh man sends Tessa right into it right in front of us oh my god right in front of us oh and Tessa goes head first right into the right into the post Mandy Rose feeling confident Tessa Blanchard in a world of trouble Blanchard comes back at it com comes up comes back into the ring with a massive spear and look at this back into the armbar back into the armbar submission by Blanchard Blanchard once again using that armbar trying to submit Mandy Rose here Mandy Rose fighting free out of the submission and now Blanchard in and now Blanchard what is she gonna do here Oh, and Ro Rose reverses out of it. Mandy Rose, oh look at this, handful of trunks on Tessa. Oh, and a, 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 and a kick out. Oh, kiss the Rose. Look at that, the kiss the Rose. And now, Mandy Rose, she's gonna. S it's over. The Toxic Buster, the 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 Toxic but Face Buster. That's it. Oh no, it's not. Tessa Blanchard just kicked out. Mandy Rose can't believe it. M Mandy can't believe it. Mandy can't believe that Tessa kicked out. Mandy Rose showing signs of frustration. Oh, knee right to the knee right to the head there by Blanchard. And a massive Irish whip to the outside. Now oh, look out, this is not good here. I do not, I do not like Mady's chances. Oh my God. I don't like, I don't, I don't, I don't like Mandy's chances at all here. These ladies continue to pound each other. Referee at a count of five. Mandy Rose and Tessa Blanchard continuing the fight. Look at this. And a count of eight. Oh, and Tessa Blanchard almost took a count out win. Yeah, what a coward to take a take a count out victory. I don't, that's not a coward. That's not cowardly. And now and now Tessa Blanchard has has Rose. Oh, oh man, man, what a move! Dropping Rose on her head. Oh, and Mandy Rose just kicking out. Mandy Rose just kicking out. Oh look at this! Now back in, back into the armbar submission move. Back into the submission by Blanchard and Mandy Rose. Look at this! Wait a minute! Mandy has tapped. Mandy Rose just tapped out to the armbar submission. Tessa Blanchard using that armbar for a third time, and Mandy Rose had no other option but to but to submit. Tessa Blanchard winning by submit, winning by submission.
here on Raw, a big win, and hey, what the, oh, what the hell, who the hell, wait a minute, is that, oh my god, it is, it, JC Jane, GG Dylan, what the hell, JC Jane, GG Dylan, that was Mandy's surprise, this was the surprise, look at this, JC Jane, and GG Dylan, Mandy's back up, and look out, oh my god, the kiss the rose, my god! The the toxic attraction is on roll! What the what in the world? Well Manny said she had a surprise for everyone, and that was the surprise. I cannot believe this. Yeah, Tessa Blanchard may have won the match. But I think in reality, we can all agree she's the real loser of this match. The Toxic Attraction is here on Raw. I cannot believe this. Things are about to get interesting, boys. It's all about the boom! Oh, here comes a wanted man! Adam Cole, baby! His wife, Britt, and his wife, Britt Baker, will be in action later on tonight in that big fatal four-way to determine the next number one contender. But right now, Adam Cole is a wanted man. We saw Adam Cole backstage concerned after hearing John Moxley's words he has now sent he has now hired a bunch of police officers to arrest John Moxley if he comes anywhere near him in his match Adam Cole's got a lot on his mind but he's got to focus on his opponent Finn Balor We know John Moxley will be backstage. We know John Moxley's backstage watching this. But do you think John Moxley would heed would heed the threat, heed the warning of the police officers that are more than likely on the look for him? I don't think John Moxley is a nutcase. I don't think he I don't think he even understands the kind of danger he's now put himself in. Well, I don't think Adam Cole realizes the kind of danger he's put himself in as well. Moxley is on the hunt for Adam Cole, and he will not rest. It is a chaotic night here on Raw. CM Punk will be having a, having a talk with, with Adam Pearce after his actions. John Moxley on the hunt for Adam Cole, who could very much get, could, who could very well get arrested tonight if he dares to interfere in this match. If, if John Moxley knows what good, what's good for him, he stays, he stays out of this. Adam Cole and Finn Balor. This is a championship contenders match. If Finn Balor. Can, if Finn Balor can knock off, get the victory here, can get the victory here, he'll be in the title hunt. Into the cover, roll up by Balor, and look at and look at and look at Cole looking to try and end it early, and a kick out, and, and a kick out. You know Adam Cole wants to get this over with quickly. You know Adam Cole wants to end this as quickly as possible. The quicker he ends this, the quicker he can get the hell out of get the hell out of here and avoid and avoid John Moxley. I think Adam Cole is is scared of John Moxley. He must be absolutely terrified of John Moxley if he's sending police officers out to go to go look for him. To make sure that he doesn't interfere in his match.
Yes, that's also true. And now Finn Balor. Finn Balor would love nothing more than to knock off Adam Cole here, get himself in the title hunt for the United States Championship. Finn Balor has said that this is the one title that, it, that has been eluding his career. Oh, to become a Grand Slam champion. Finn Balor is a three-time Universal Champion. Four-time Continental Champion. Oh, and a Raw Tag Team Champion. The United States Championship is the only title that he has yet to, yet to hold. Has, oh, Sling Blade by Balor. Yeah, the United States title has been has eluded Balor's career. If Balor can get the can get a win here, he'll be in that discussion. Oh man, nice move, ni nice move by Balor, looking to knock off the United States champion, and Adam Cole kicking out Bay Bay. Yeah, Adam Cole surviving Bay Bay. And now look out here now Cole stomping a mud hole. Adam Cole stomping a mud hole. And Finn Balor. Oh, nice. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. And now Balor. Oh, no. And now Balor. Oh, man. The, the final. Oh, man. The final cut. And look at this. And now Britt Baker from behind. And Baker. Give. With the distraction. Britt Baker with the distraction. Allowing Cole to get the upper hand. Cole just immediately got right back up from that, like he didn't even sell the move at all. And now Cole. And now Cole sees his opportunity. Oh, look out. Oh, man. Adam Cole see, sees, his, sees his opportunity. He sees that he has Balor right where he wants him. Yeah, he's got Balor right where he, right, right where he wants him. And now into the cover, and Balor kicking out. Balor managing to kick out. Oh, man, what a super kick. Oh, man, and a German suplex for his efforts. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes, guys. It's time for the last shot. Oh, wait a minute, no. Balor reverses. Oh. Balor reverses it. And now Balor. Oh, there's, no, there's no way he's going to reach him from there. He's, he's not going to reach him. He's not going to reach him from that distance. Balor cha changing his direction. And look at Cole. Oh, Cole, try Cole trying desperately to avoid the coup de grace. He could see he was trying to turn over to his back. But Balor wasn't going to allow it. Coup de grace. There it is. The coup de grace is Balor about to knock off the champion. Oh, and Cole just kicking out. Cole just kicking out at two. And now, ba and now Bella. Oh, wait a minute. That, oh, oh, wait a minute. There's Moxley. Oh, my God. And now Bella into the cover again. Oh, and Cole again. Cole again kicking out. Wait a minute, there's Moxley. Oh, wait a minute. Mo Moxley shouldn't be out here. He should not be out here. Moxley's out here. He should not be out here. He's going to get arrested. He's going to get arrested. I think Cole's just... I think Cole has just realized that, ba that, that Moxley's actually out here. Oh, man, and Balor now. And now Balor trying to take... Continuously trying to keep the advantage in his corner... Come on, come on, Cole! You got to get this over with. Oh, look at Bala from behind! Oh, Bala tried. Oh, Bala tried to sneak from the back door on Cole. Oh man! And now, and now, Cole! You can see the hesitation. He wants to. Oh, get this over with! He wants to get this over with. Balor's down and Balor kicking out. Finn Balor kicking out. Finn Balor has basically been fighting for survival throughout this entire match. Finn Balor's basically been stalling for time. And now Balor from behind. Oh, the final cut. 
the foul cut. Looking to win the match up here. Oh, and Cole. And Cole kicking out again. And now Finn Bauer in the drop zone. Bauer in the drop zone. Oh, went for the coup de gras. No, missed. Missed the coup de gras. Mr. Mr. Coup de Gras and now Cole. He's gonna hit the Panama and the Oh Panama Sunrise! The Panama Sunrise to Bella! Oh Bella kicked out! You're kidding! Bella kicked out! Bella kicked out! Cole can't believe it! Back into the cover! And Bella kicked out again! Adam Cole can't believe it! Adam Cole can't believe that Bella kicked out! How the hell is Bella still in this? John Moxley shaking his head. <laughs> is absolutely impressed. With Finn Bella surviving. Finn Bella is fighting for survival here. Adam Cole getting frustrated. You can see the frustration on his face. Telling Bella to stay down. And now Bella with a roll up on Moxley. With a roll up. On Cole, excuse me, and a kick out. Oh, that was close. Oh man, went for a drop kick. You can see that. You can see the panic. You can see the panic in in, in, Cole, in Cole's eyes. Finn Balor basically. Finn Balor has basically been fighting for survival here. Oh. He has been he has been stalling for time. I think Finn I think Moxley I think this was all planned by Moxley. Moxley knew Bauer was a resilient man, so he wanted so he wanted him to survive. Oh no, there's there's, there's Moxley, there's Moxley, he's coming through the crowd! Get the police! Get the police! Get the get the police! Moxley's coming through the crowd. Oh, get the police! Someone get call the damn police! Bella going up for the coup de gras. Wait a minute, Cole's back up on his feet. Oh man! Oh man, went for the drop kick. Someone go call the police! That lunatic! It, that lunatic is interfering. Wait a minute. Oh man, and Bauer again! My God, Finn Bauer! What a warrior! What a warrior this man is! Oh my God! Cole gets dropped on his head. Cole slightly distracted. The 1913 and Finn Bauer has pinned the champ. Finn Bauer has just pinned the United States champion. Cole hesitated. Cole hesitated. Cole saw Moxley, and that slight hesitation gave 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 Bella the win. The 1913 has scored Bella the win. That slight hesitation, just, that slight distraction by Cole. And there's Moxley! Look at him! Moxley over the over the barrier! And now he's attacking Cole! Call the police! Co Moxley getting his hands on Cole! Oh now Britt Baker jumping on Britt Baker jumping on top! Oh look out! And now Moxley, oh my god! No, don't do that! Don't do that to don't do that to Baker! Oh super kick by Cole! <laughs> Oh my God! And now, and and now, yes! And now the police officers have got Moxley. The police officers have got Moxley. That that's what that lunatic deserves. Cole and Baker getting the hell out of Dodge. And now the police officers have have Moxley. Moxley is about to get arrested, and he's about to get exactly what he deserves. Exotic. Well, as we well well we turn our attentions now to Mandy Leon. Things are chaotic, chaotic things here at ringside. Moxley <laughs> has just been arrested. 
And now Mandy Leon. Mandy Leon will find out who her next challenger will be. And Mandy Leon giving a lot of thank yous to the WWE Universe. Many believe Mandy Leon was never going to make it to WWE. And many believe that Mandy Leon wasn't going to have what it takes to be a champion. But Mandy Leon has proven everybody wrong. What a fantastic superstar Mandy Leon has been. I bet the moment Cora uses her finisher in the match, you'll have AEW fans saying she's, it's a shot at WWE. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, well, the, well, the, fu well, the funny thing is, apparent, app apparently nobody should be allowed to use the Dirty Deeds. I'm pretty sure Moxley doesn't even use it in AEW. I could be wrong. I don't even watch it, so how would I know? But still, in reality. Moxley doing it should be a shot at Mick Foley because Mick Foley was the one that started was, was the first person to use the double arm DDT. Reality, the first person to ever use it was Mick Foley. And here comes the former Universal Champion, Cesaro. Over the last several weeks, Cesaro and his girlfriend May have been trying to convince Sheamus to reform the bar, but Sheamus just has not seemed to show any interest. Why would Sheamus be interested in reforming the bar? That was in the past. Well, Cesaro has got his hands full tonight. He faces off against the 16-time world champion, Randy Orton. comes the legend himself here, here comes Randy Orton the 16 time world champion There's a Hall of Fame spot calling for this man in the future. Randy Orton has done it all in his entire career. One of the all-time greats. Randy Orton doesn't... We have not seen Randy Orton compete all that often here on Raw. She was just thanking the WWE Universe for believing in her and she's ready to face her next challenger. Who would induct Randy? Probably Triple H because of, because of his days in evolution. 
either Triple H or I'd, it, the two options I would see is Triple H or John Cena due to their history. My money is more on Triple H because of their days in evolution. Oh, look out. Oh, my. Oh, jeez. Cesaro is looking for like a, a crazy suplex. And now Karen Elbow tie up between Cesaro and Cesaro, Cesaro and Orton. As we mentioned before, we don't we haven't seen Randy Orton all that often here on Raw. Yeah, he's been slowing he's been slowing things down as of late, uh, the old Viper. But he still looks great despite that. Did I, did I like Legacy? Yeah, I liked Legacy. I liked um Ted and Cody. Keyword liked. Means I did like them, but not anymore. Well, I still have well. Ted retired from wrestling, so he hasn't really done anything wrong to rub me the wrong way. You know who I'm talking about. And now Cesaro trying to wear down now Cesaro trying to wear down before Cody became obsessed with WWE and had a grudge grudge against him. Yep. I liked Cody before all that started. Ever since he ever, I understand why he was upset. I can understand his reasonings for being upset. But there's no reason to put that against the company. I understood his reasons when I listened to his reasons, but doesn't mean that. But does it mean I I agree with them? Not really. Probably, pro pro probably. Knowing AEW, they like stealing. They like stealing stuff. By the way, um, I saw this article about the Revival, or FTR as they're called now. Like, I saw this article, like, they were basically defending AEW and, um, Tony Khan for signing, like, a bunch of, um, former WWE guys. Like, they were basically like, oh, they can do it, they're allowed to. Oh, RKO! RKO! To Cesaro! Oh, and Cesaro kicked out. And now Randy Orton from behind on Cesaro. Oh man! Well, I think he was in. Well, he said that he was interested in the Stardust character when he first heard about it. But then he. But then he said. But then when he realised what the whole character was, basically another version of Goldust. That's when he hated it. That's basically what he said. He was like, oh, when they said I was going to have a new character, I was interested until I saw what it was. That's when I didn't want to do it. Basically, too little, too late. Now Cesaro with an uppercut. I think Cody believed that he should have been at least world champion. I think that was more that more his issue. I think his issue was that he believed he should have been a world champion by at least 2013 when he became a babyface and he became very popular. That's probably more his issue, probably more his gripe, but I don't know. I understood his reasons, but you know, hopefully he gets over it. Oh, look at this and neutralizer Cesaro. With the neutralizer to Orton! And Cesaro! 
has put away Orton. Wow, big win for Cesaro. Nice way to get back on track. I hope, I hope Sheamus. I hope Sheamus was watching, because hopefully that, cause hopefully that could, hopefully that convinces him. Nothing should convince Sheamus. Nothing will convince Sheamus. Sheamus is past that. And Cesaro's little bimbo shouldn't be, little bimbo shouldn't be trying to, shouldn't be trying to sway the opinion either. She ain't a bimbo. She's a brownette. Well, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, is our main event. A big fatal four-way to determine Mandy Leon's next challenger. Will it be AJ Lee, Tony Storm, Britt Baker, or Bailey? One of these four females will have an opportunity to face Mandy Leon for the Raw Women's Championship. Who will it be? And speaking of the Raw Women's Champion, here she is coming out right now to join us at ringside. Mandy Leon to join us here at ringside to sit down and watch the match to find out who her next challenger is going to be. This should be exciting. All four of these women have made their claims to why they deserve to, to win this match. But only one can win. Will it be Tony time? We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Our big main event is next. And we're back live here on Monday Night Raw. We've now hit our final commercial break. And here, and it's now time for our main event. And here comes Tony Storm. It's Tony time. You look very beautiful, Mandy. The title looks great on you. Well, anyway, here's Tony Storm. A woman who many people believe is a very underrated performer. Who has not been given a lot of opportunities. But Tony Storm has a big one ahead of her tonight. Yeah, she's got a big opportunity, and here comes, and here, and here comes Britt Baker. And here comes, and here comes Britt Baker, a woman who, you know, we all know is surprised. We, we, a woman who's all, who's got a lot of confidence. No, I don't see Tony Storm winning, but I think she'll put up a good fight. <laughs> Britt Baker would love an opportunity at the Raw Women's Championship. She and uh, the cleaners have been, have been able to get John Moxley arrested after what transpired. And here comes... Oh... And here comes a psychopath. Here comes a woman who has completely lost her mind. AJ Lee. 
a woman who believes that all the women here in our locker room are talentless, beautiful, just self-proclaimed only here for their pretty looks and not for their talent. And she's definitely called Mandy Leon out for that as well. She's definitely called she's definitely called Mandy Leon the oh my god, she's gone she's a nut job. Well, AJ does have a point, but anyway, coming, and here we go. Here comes Bailey. Well, Britt Baker has uh, certainly made made sure, has definitely made it clear that Bailey has been her upcoming target because she was very furious when she when she found out that. Bailey was given was given a chance to compete for this for the title. You can see the look on Britt's face as she looks at Bailey. Exactly, Mandy, I agree. Women can be ta can be beautiful and can be talented. And here we go. The fatal four ways underway. Ba Britain, Britain, Bailey already going at each other's necks. Oh well, that didn't take long, and here we go. Hello, oh, Myra. Bailey and ba Britt Baker, not wasting any time going after Bailey. She's got some. She's got some major problems with. Ba why does she have? Why does she have problems with Bailey? Just because Bailey's getting an opportunity at the championship, that now automatically issue. Now that automatically means I now have a problem with her. Throughout, look at Bailey's career. She's a six-time women's champion. She's been one. She is definitely one of the all-time greats, along with the other four horsewomen. We all, we all, we all agree that Bailey's had her time at the top. Oh my goodness! Other people deserve an opportunity. Baker now just, just. Hammering Bailey on the outside, right in front of us. And now AJ into the cover. And a kick out. And now Bailey and now Bailey turning her attention. Oh to Tony Storm. And AJ gets taken out. AJ and her weird in her weird selling. I hope you had a good birthday, um, Myra. Oh man, what a German suplex by Tony Storm. Oh good lord, what a what a kick by Storm! What a kick by AJ flattening Bailey. Yeah, she just flattened Bailey. She absolutely flattened Bailey with that kick. And now look at this. AJ from behind trying to take the win. Oh, and Tony Storm kicks out. Tony Storm just in time was able to kick out. Bobby Trashley, as I like to call him. Oh, look out. And oh, Shining Wizard by AJ. There's that Shining Wizard by AJ. Looking to become number one contender. Oh, and Tony Storm just kicked out. AJ with the Shining Wizard almost got the win. Now, now Britt Baker just continues to hammer away on Bailey on the outside. Tony Storm. And here, Britt Baker just yelling at Bailey, saying that she doesn't belong. You don't belong in this match. Oh, oh Britt Baker ain't wrong either. Patrick, you know, our, our CEO, C, CEO Patrick just just loves giving, handing out title opportunities 
to the four horsewomen of the WWE. He just loves handing out title opportunities to them. Oh, look at Tony Storm. Oh, Storm Zero. Oh, and Baker kicking out. Britt Baker, Britt Baker kicking out. And now Bailey. Oh man, Bailey with a with a suplex into the corner to Tony Storm. Can you imagine if Bailey wins this match? The one person that the one oh look out. Bailey looking for that. Oh it was looking for the role model elbow! She was looking for the role model elbow. Was looking for that role model elbow, but AJ with a boot pre preventing Bailey from from hitting it. Bailey almost hit the role model elbow right there. And now Tony Storm. Well, look at this. Oh, pile driver! Good lord, AJ just got spiked right on her head. Just got spiked onto her head by by, 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 by that by that pile driver. And now look at Britt Baker. Oh look at Britt Baker! Jaw lock! Jaw lock! The jaw lock on AJ! The jaw lock is locked in on AJ! Britt Baker could take the win here! The jaw lock's locked in on Bailey! Tony Storm doesn't realize it! And ba and Bailey breaking it up! Bailey broke it up! Bailey preventing! Britt Baker from winning the match. I, I think that might give ba I think that might give Britt Baker even more of a reason to despise Bailey. Oh look at this! Oh look out! Oh man! Spinning heel kick. Spinning heel kick to Bailey. Look at AJ trying to take advantage. She spinning heel kick. To Bailey, looking to take advantage of it here. Oh man, almost took advantage. Almost took advantage of Bailey right there. And now Bailey. Oh. What is Britt Baker going to do now? Oh, wait a minute, AJ from behind, oh my god, Britt Baker, just got, just got taken out, oh my god, and now Tony Storm, oh, Tony Storm with a German, look at AJ, oh, Shining Wizard the Storm, the Shining Wizard the Storm, Oh, oh my goodness, Tony Storm kicked out, almost. Oh, what a clothesline by Bailey. And now look at Britt Baker. Oh, Britt Baker trying to, trying to steal the win. And once again, Bailey preventing the three count. Oh man, AJ. AJ getting getting reversed by Bailey. And now look at Bailey. Hey, look at Bailey. Oh my god, and Bailey, look at that! And ba and Bailey takes the win. You kidding me? Wow, and ba Britt Baker can't believe it. And 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 Bailey once again Patrick's favoritism once again the favoritism of Patrick come on you can't blame him he picked he picked Bailey he put Bailey in this match Britt Baker can't believe it Britt Baker can't believe it well, well there you go Mandy there's your opponent it'll be the role model Bailey that'll be your next Opponent and Britt Baker can is absolutely livid on the outside. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. AJ Lee getting pinned by Bailey, and AJ Lee is obviously not very happy either.